Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiasticus, and the third chapter, and the 24th verse. I'm actually starting at 25. Without eyes, thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. Call on Lai Yahabash, Mel Shah, Wahakudash, the bonus of the whole fleet, like Elder Apostle Slave to be saved. Lord, we're going to start with those at the Great Millstone Church. You know, shalom to all those under the doctrine from the elder brothers. You know, um, from the men here at my camp, here at our camp, you know, giving all diligence and truth, faith, and sincerity to all the brothers. You know, from the elder brothers, you elder brothers on down to, you know, the younger brothers, you younger brothers teaching this truth and all true faith and sincerity. Okay, as I said, including the men here at this camp. And uh, to the rest of you believers, you men, women, and children of the Israelite race, Shalom. Okay, in on the faith of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. And to the to the ultimately to the elect, those that will go on to be found to have been the house of David. Okay, so yeah. Don't act like you uh seen you know, seeing something you haven't. You see what I'm saying? You've done something you haven't. Don't speak on experiences, you know, as if you had them. You see what I'm saying? You may think about them. You may think there'll be a good experience to have. It may be a good move, but don't even bring out something to another that you necessarily haven't. Don't put it out like you've done it. And that's what this lesson is going to be going into pretty much. Um, there's some quick words. Just, um, you can't teach the experience till you had the experience. So don't, don't try to do so. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to teach on the experience until you had the experience more so. You know, now you can share thoughts you had, but you got men that try to profess, you know, things, you know, that's of experience as if they have had that exp the experience and they have it, man. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, you know, um, speaking on another man's experience. You know, that's why you uh, that, that had the experience, you know, but you now have been enlightened on it. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's just as good. It's like when you, you know, you. I was born around gangsters and stuff. Gangsters, and I seen this coming up, that coming up. But you didn't necessarily do it. But you know somebody that did. That's, that's nothing wrong with that. That's just as good. You know, basically, you know, uh, yeah, I yeah, I don't work on the car. Got a, you know, a guy. He, he understands the, you know, the engines and stuff like that. You know, um, and pretty much you're able to share all his experience that he shared with you. So don't try to go on. You know, if that's the case and you try to act like it's your experience, you've had it. You see what I'm saying? You can't teach on experience until you've had it. You know, and if you do, uh, and it's because of somebody else's, there's nothing wrong with that. Share it like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, you know somebody, you know, you know how to know uh, such and such to do this. No, nah, I don't, but I got a man. He, he went, he did that. He already knew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my what, such, a call, such, such and such used to do this or whatever. That's the same thing. So we, we shouldn't go on, you know, once again, pretty much professing the knowledge we, doesn't, we don't have. So once again, this is Iraq 3 and 25. Without eyes, thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. So don't act like you've seen something when you haven't seen it at all. You know what I'm saying? You can't even see it, you know? Don't act like you know something and you haven't even be, been... Uh, you don't know it. You know, you haven't been shown it. Don't like, just keep going. Don't act like you had experiences with something you doing and you trying to put it out like, you know, you know, something, you know, something for others to do. You haven't even done it. You ain't been doing it. You won't even share that part. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to get caught up in that because that's what the Lord has an issue with. For instance, Luke chapter 6 and... You know, I'm going to start at verse, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to just get to the point. This is verse 41. And why beholdest thou the moat that is in, it's really the same thing. So I'll start at 39. It says, and he spake, you know, I'm going to start at 38. Give and it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down and shaken together. And running over, shall men give into your bosom. 
For with the same measure that ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Okay. It says, And he spake a parable unto them, Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? The disciple is not above his master. These really all the same things. They have the same point, really. Right? But everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Right? It says, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but perceivest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Either how canst thou say to thy brother, Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in thine, thine eye. When thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thy own eye, thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou clear, see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. So pretty much if you're sharing something that, something that should be done and you ain't done it yet, as you really perceive by yourself, you know, by the spirit, you know, that is something that you need to be doing. Don't put it out before you actually start doing it. That's like being a hypocrite, you know, for, for one to do it. You even start doing it. And if you notice, all these have the same meaning, you know, because, for instance, when you start avert, when you start to meet, uh, you'll be met with, you know, uh, the measure that you'll be met with or you meet with, you'll be, you know, pretty much you're going to be addressed on how you go. You know, you're supposed to be according as you're supposed to be dealt with or assessed according to, you know, how how you are. So if you're putting it out like you got the, you know, this experience and all of this other stuff, like that's how you're going to be measured. Like you putting this out as if you this experience that you should do and blah, blah. And you people going to think, OK, he's done it. You know, oh, this is what he do. He putting out, you know, to move like this or do like that. You'd be like, oh. This, you know, someone that right mind be like, okay, this this is how he moves. You know? You wouldn't think a coach would share or the NBA greats or whoever a share like, you know, things or regiments they haven't even done themselves to you. You wouldn't think that. You know, so you're gonna be uh measured with how you, you know, are uh meeting you know if you will but it says in the next verse how can the blind lead the blind so they not both fall into the ditch and you put that out you have people that's pretty much they say they found out you put out experience things you suggest suggestions you don't even do you're not even doing you know what i'm saying necessarily you haven't even done like that's really your mo they'll think that's some off stuff and then you making them think it's okay to move like that so they're going to be just like that so that's another thing Right. And that's the, the point of not being like that. You know, it's another reason why we don't want to do this. And it says the disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. You literally set in a pattern up and influence up out here to be like that. You know, and there's people that do that. They putting out stuff they won't even do. That's like the, how the wicked scribes and fat Pharisees was. They telling you to do stuff they never did. Man, you need to fast. You need to. They ain't fast at one time. They don't even fast. Whatever. You know. Man, you need to have more respect, have taste, and they don't even look to do that, you know? They tell, you know? That shit is off, man. Now, you can share your thoughts, like things you be thinking about and stuff like that, but you don't want to put it off as if, put it out as if it's, you know, something it isn't, man. You know, so yeah, that's basically that. And Paul, he said that. Paul said what? He said, uh, thou teaches, you know, not keep the law, do you keep it? Do you, you know, et cetera, man. So I'm going to jump back. And I can share this because this is a real, um, this is something I really, it's really, especially coming in, you know, held myself to a standard I held myself to. Like, I don't want to, even though I may perceive something to be a good move by the Spirit, it don't make sense for me to, like, put it out for someone else to do it, you know, which because it could come off like that. And, whole time I ain't done it so I wouldn't even if I perceive it to be good I'll deal with it first you know what I'm saying so it really to hit much that that much harder when I can share something I've seen to be a good idea and I have went through it or it's a, a suggestion and I've done it and then I share it it'd be that much better you know so that's why I really have you know uh that's why I'm another reason I'm making this lesson by the spirit but anyway this is Iraq 3 and I'm gonna start at 24 
for many are deceived by their own vain opinion and evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment you see you you just being opinionated you know the whole time you trying to put it off as you know it's something you just know or you you don't doing it which is makes you you know more in the quali it qualifies it like that to be more of something you know when you've experienced it as far as that you know you know it qualifies it to be something you really know when you've actually experienced whatever it is you know so once again without eyes thou shalt want light thou shalt want light profess not the knowledge therefore that thou has not see so without eyes thou shalt want light profess not the knowledge therefore that thou has not so don't act like you've seen these things you haven't man or whatever it may may be man you know yeah so i just got a one a couple more quick points this is matthew 23 and one then how shall i speak to the multitude and to his disciples saying the scribes and the pharisees sit in moses seat all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe that observe and do but do not ye after their works for they say and do not see that for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born right this is what the things they say it could be anything though and lay them on men's shoulders but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers you see so there it is it's um it's all about it's not you, you don't want to be putting on professing the knowledge that you don't have therefore man you know yahweh shah he didn't move like that man you know how you gonna share something that you ain't even experienced yourself you know what i'm saying you ain't even doing yourself like nothing that's that's off you don't want to get in that mindset now you can suggest something to you that you haven't done you know what i'm saying and you you know if you if you you know and you know and it happens you could be, in, you be just be mindful like okay i ain't did this but you know it's you know so i did like once again sharing your thoughts but you don't want to be out here putting it out as if you just this experienced dude because you see this, you heard brothers that said this, or you heard other brothers experience, and you just putting it out as if, as if for, for others to do. But, you know, and really you start getting in a mindset as if you've done these things or if this is your experience. You see what I'm saying? As if you're doing these things. And for you know it, you will be just like them. You're just putting out a bunch of stuff. You're trying to teach the experience before you had it. You know, it's, 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 it's crazy. Hebrews 12 and two, looking unto Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher, you see, and finisher of our faith. So everything he tells us to do, he's done. You see that? For who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of Yahweh of Yahweh. So there it is. Yahweh Yahweh Shah, he he um, you know, he he's done everything, man. And the NLT it says, We do this by keeping our eyes on Yahweh Shah. That we do this by keeping our eyes on Yahweh Shah because he didn't put he he wasn't a man like that. You know, if he put it out, he say this, he been through it. He telling you about, you know, women and stuff. He he done went ran through women, man. You got men out here trying to talk on women they ain't even dealt with probably more than you ain't dealt with no women. You ain't got women problems trying to put out how you should move with your family. You don't even got a family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's bugged out. You got kids, how to move. You know, you could probably hurt you probably, you know, got some insight. Through, you know, something the Lord showed you or thoughts you probably had, something you've seen in the scriptures, you know, but more than likely, but still those not your experiences. So you can't put them out like that, you know, or brothers sharing their experiences with you. Or you trying to put it out, you know, brothers in their game, they got with women and stuff like here. You trying to act like you, you know, now you, you put it out in that regard, but don't put it out like that because you could go on and take the disposition that you really out here have done and done this and living this and you you're just living a lot, basically. Who who keep we do this by keeping our eyes on Yahweh Shah, the champion who in, initiates and perfects our faith because you see of the joy awaiting him he endured the cross disregarding his shame now he is seated in a place of honor besides Yahweh's throne you know I love this scripture this is Sirach thirty four in here uh, you know 
I'll jump back to my premiere and I'll, you know, I'll get this. But anyway, it says, Sirach 34 and 9, a man that have travailed or traveled, Salaki, a man that have traveled knoweth many things. You see, you really know when you've done it, when you've went through things. So don't try to put out things as if you went through them. Like you can have a lot of insight and ain't even went through nothing, you know, but you have to still take mine. Like you don't want to be out here trying to put out like you just experienced a guy. You just know a woman keep it real, man. Because then we'll be able to see, damn, you just have a lot of insight. Damn, that's crazy, you know? It be like that sometimes, you know? But if it's somebody else's experience you sharing or something, you, somebody put you, brother put you on game, you share it like that, man. Don't be a, you know, a, a F boy out here, man. You know? It's all right, you know, when I pull up with they big brother car, you acting like it's your shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, you ain't got to. In instances let your left hand know it's a right hand do it you know you do it when it's expedient but in really damn near all the time it's expedient so it's a certain regards you you know you 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 use this card you see it's only in certain moments you'll withdraw that card you know it ain't for everybody to know that you know but anyway this is verse 34 it says verse 9 a man that have traveled no travel knoweth many things and he that have much experience, you see, will declare wisdom. So that's supposed to be the one to declare the wisdom. These wise things to do and all this other stuff, where to go, how to go here, this is how you do that. Brothers try to drop a jump of conversations. They ain't got shit to do with and, and, and profess knowledge they ain't even got because they that really don't even have it unless they've done it. You could probably get it, but over men that actually done did it or doing it. Like, you know, that's, that's due to that disposition, you know. So it says, he that had no experience knoweth the little. You see? So you really know little in, in comparison to, you know. It says, but he that had travel is full of prudence. You see, when I travel, I saw many things, and I understand more than I can express. So here it is, you trying to express, and you ain't got no experience. And you got men that really can't even express, articulate all the things they've experienced. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, they are the ones who are to be really putting this stuff out, and you are to be understanding this and, and, and sharing that, you know what I'm saying, if, if this is how you get, you know, insight or things of things you want to share. But anyway, I'll close here. It's Iraq 3 and 24 once again through. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Without eyes, thou shalt want light. Thou shalt want light. You see, profess not, therefore, profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. So, yeah, man. Call Alam Lai Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah Shalom.